What's up, world? It's your boy Will, and I'm back again bringing you guys another video. And this is just going to be an update of the Hinder a Half Track. Again, guys, I did oil this knife up. I told you guys I would give you an update on how it's actually flipping. I've only carried it about three times since I received it. I carried it the first two days, and then I didn't carry it for a couple. I went out of town this weekend, and this wasn't the knife. I took most of the time I go out of town. I would always carry like a medium to full size knife in case I would need it. And this is just a little bit too small for this to be like the only blade I carry with me. But I carried it today and I now have it flipping pretty decent. Trying to get it to focus. All right, and guys, what I did was just drop a little oil down in here I haven't taken it apart yet I wanted it to still have like a rough finish to kind of make sure just wear in that track of where the blade opens and once it actually does that eventually I will break it down and oil it most of the time I use like Chris Reed Chris Reeve the fluoride grease and I put that on there see how it actually works but right now it actually does flip open almost 90% of the time. It also depends on the grip you have because it's a small knife. Sometimes when I open it, gripping it, I kind of hit my hand on the blade, which will stop it from flipping open. But it flips a lot better than it did the first day. It's breaking in fairly nicely. And I'm glad that I was able to win that knife. I have been, been enjoying the small carry. I just want to show you the edge retention when I first got it as well it did have like a small little nick in the blade but when I first got into knives I was terrible at sharpening knives so I wouldn't have been able to fix it but now I've been kind of buying a lot of higher end knives and cheaper knives as well for the past four to five years so my sharpening skills have got a little bit better. So the knife is very sharp now. It's hard kind of cutting the paper on the camera. I don't want to slice my hand by mistake, but all the way throughout the blade, the edge is very sharp. It no longer catches at all. It did have one little nick. I'm not sure where it came from, but other than that, the knife is in perfect condition. Again, I do love the ergonomics on the knife. Let me move this out of the way. And check them out, guys. That's where I actually got the knife from. I won this on the Instagram. It was a giveaway they were doing. And it's the S35VN steel. It is a more aggressive stone wash than the standard. See, I have my other hinderers here. And this is a great stone wash. This is one of my most favorite stone washes of all time that Hinder does on their standard knives. It's almost like a polish, and it actually handles wear well, very well. It's hard to get scratches on it. I do have one scratch right in there somewhere, but it's very hard to see it there I go again not thinking of the <laughs> hinderer that I had and I completely misfired that but that doesn't have any detent compared to this guy so they did do great improvement on flipping it still doesn't flip as good as this knife yet but again this detent was modified and this knife has broken in great, so this knife will flip open 100% of the time. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to do an update on that knife. Again, it gives you a few different grip options as well. You can kind of choke up there, but if you're not used to knives, be careful. If you're doing any type of piercing motion, your hand could slip, and it definitely will cut you. I showed you that the knife is very sharp. This is my most comfortable grip because it's such a small knife. I kind of choke up and just put my thumb up there, which gives you a lot of control of the knife. 
but you can also just put it there. The jimping on it is not very, very aggressive, but it will work, especially if you had on something like gloves. I can kind of feel it digging into my finger, but it's not overly aggressive. You can also do like a three finger grip and kind of rest your thumb in here, which is kind of a comfortable grip. And just kind of let the pinky grab the very end or just kind of float there, which is comfortable as well. Has a pretty nice feel for the reverse grip. And guys, I just wanted to do an update to show you that. I knew it wasn't the knife. If you watched the video, I think I have posted that video now. I mentioned let me oil the knife because I could tell how the scratch felt in the knife. That it was just because it was a new knife. It hasn't been like flipped or broken in yet. So now it's starting to break in a little bit. It's not 100% perfect. Again, I've only carried it about three days and... I have flipped it a lot since I received it when I just sit around the house relaxing like I'm doing in this video. I just flip it like that to kind of break it in. But once I break it down the first time and oil it up, this knife is going to flip great, I can tell. So thank you guys for watching again. This is your boy Will. Peace.